it's a beautiful Saturday. I am tired, but today is the day for a little reset, a little self-care. I want you to get comfy. We're gonna have a little girl chat. It's going to be fantastic. And I figured it's been quite a while since we've actually talked, since I've kind of updated you. But first, I think it's pretty important that we get some food into our body. So, first fun fact that you have to know about me, if I am ever craving anything, I will not feel full until I've eaten that thing. If I were to have like, I don't know, granola, but I'm like craving eggs, I don't want it. I'm gonna have eggs. That sounds like so spoiled and so like stuck up, but it, it makes sense in my head, okay? Yeah, but that does kind of make me sound like I'm like some really picky stuck up person. I promise I'm not. In fact, my parents taught me to not be a very picky person because we travel a lot and we, we try new things and it's really fun. But one food, literally one food I could not eat to save my life was beans and potatoes. When I would have to eat beans or potatoes for our dinner, I'd stuff my mouth full of the potatoes or full of the beans. And I'd say, I, I need to go to the bathroom. I just like, I'd let myself go. And I'd go to the bathroom and I'd just spit it all out. You can't judge me, okay? And then what happened? I got called to live in Brazil for a year and a half. And what do they eat? Tell me, tell me what do they eat? Beans and rice. Two of the things I could not handle eating. A few months before I went out to Brazil, I started to just like really kind of manipulate my brain and get myself to like beans. And now I love beans. I mean, when I was out on my mission, I'd have like beans, 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 and have platefuls of just beans. I'd say A plus for me. I conquered that fear right there. But carrots, I still can't get myself to like carrots. Uh oh, can't do it. Oh, here's a good one. Here's a really, that's awkward. I decided to teach myself how to snowboard one day in Virginia. So the snowboarding isn't even that great. And I gave myself two concussions in the course of one month. So maybe that's why I'm a little not there, but other fun fact, I have a crazy Whoa. family. What is, is that? Good. Good. I'm feeling pretty stressed. It's time to... Fun other fact, my biggest pet peeve, that. I, I don't know what it is, but I cannot handle people brushing their teeth and like spit. So when COVID and like spit tests, I was done for. I literally would leave the car. I'd leave the car and it'd be 15 degrees outside. I was spitting into a spit tube or whatever, because I could not handle this. So anytime somebody's brushing their teeth, I will literally leave. You have your, your time. I'll go. So as I was saying, I am feeling a bit stressed. I figured that this would be a perfect moment to kind of just decompress. I wanted to take you along with me. I wanted us to just be able to sit and chat and kind of do this facial routine. If you even want to, get out your facial stuff. Let's do this facial routine together. I think it's, it's honestly just so therapeutic. So as you may have heard and as you may know, I left for the last year and a half and I was serving a mission and I was living in Brazil. By the way, amazing. It, Amo, eu amo o povo brasileiro, amo. Oh my gosh, it's in my eyeball, one second. Funny story, I was actually supposed to go back to university, to college, right after I had gotten back, all of my plans changed and I'm now here. I've never been on this side. I feel like I'm like literally painting a new canvas. I feel like everything today is about painting a canvas apparently. Other fun fact about me, I, as I said, I was living in Brazil. If you've ever heard of acai, greatest thing ever, but it's not like the acai smoothie bowls like we have in the States. It is a literal dessert. I'm pretty sure I had it every day. It was just so good. I mean, it's healthy. It's a super fruit, so mixed with lots of sugar and M&Ms and Kit Kats and chocolate and whatever else. It was to die for. But one of my biggest insecurities has always been my lips and like the hair up here. Every girl gets that. I mean, it's hair. I got so many comments of people saying like, oh my gosh, you have a mustache. So it made me very insecure. A big red flag of mine. I think it would have to be when like a guy is emotionally like riding off of me. For example, if they need me as their happiness and like, oh, 
I want to hang out with you. I'm bored. I don't have anything to do. Like, if they can't figure stuff out on their own and, like, I'm, like, a cherry on top, I don't want it. I can't do it. I actually did not do my curly hair and I hated my natural hair for years. It was only a couple years ago that I started to embrace my curly hair. And the reason for that was actually because this one girl who I really look up to, she told me one day, she was like, Clay, I love your hair curly. Like, I feel like your hair would be so pretty curly. Isn't it naturally curly? And from that moment on, I started embracing my curly hair. It was literally all because of one person and their compliment. Get out there and compliment people. And and be unforgivingly you. I also uh, used to be blonde. I have gone through many, many hair phases. I need to do like an Instagram about this because it's hilarious. I used to be really short, super terrible. I also cut all of my hair. I've been all black. I think that's been my favorite. My hair is just naturally like brown and like one color. I don't, I don't personally like it. I am the biggest night owl. I could stay up for hours and like be totally fine. I mean, the other night I literally stayed up and I couldn't sleep for two hours. You know what I was thinking about? Random facts about me. I can blow money faster than I receive it. It is bad. The second that I know that I have money, I'm like, oh my gosh, let's go treat myself. I need something. I need facial products. Do I really need facial products? No, I don't need facial products, but I do. Do you know what I mean? All right, this is my favorite part. I love doing a little bit of makeup, a little bit of a touch up. However, just like I've gone through phases of my hair, I've also gone through so many phases of like loving makeup, not loving makeup. So I currently am on this like somewhat of makeup obsession where I honestly only do my eyebrows and my eyelashes, which I don't know, I kind of like this. I want to get a little bit more into the more natural glowy makeup type of look. I don't like foundation or concealer because I I've got some spots and I've got some like discoloration, but I don't feel like I really, really need that. And I'm not a professional, so I don't know how to use it very well. So, okay, this one's great. And honestly, I, I think it's something that like I'll find in the moment. Hence the reason right now I was remembering something that gives me the ick is guys that are like overly, overly flirtatious. Like if they're just like, so like, oh my gosh, I just love you so much. Oh my gosh, I just, it's just like weird type of flirting and like, showing love but that just like makes me mm, no nope, that's kind of embarrassing i'm gonna regret saying that because then i'm gonna find a guy and i'm gonna end up being like oh i love love i love this please like i remember when me and were dating we would talk in like a baby voice and i look back at those videos and i'm like please stop that's that's so weird please stop like don't just don't other thing about me i cry a lot i'm a very emotional person like i'm the type of person that if somebody else starts crying and is like getting emotional like my friend one of my best friends or my mom specifically it's not everybody but when like there's just that like emotional moment i cry too not because i'm sad but because i'm feeling the emotion with them i actually like it today today it looks good Let's give ourselves a hand okay. I think we're good. oh my gosh look i'm like the shortest of my entire family. Actually, no. I know that I'm going to be the shortest of everyone in my family, because even my little sisters are almost taller than me. Shay, Wyatt, and Raquel are both way taller than me. And it's so sad, but I like being short. All right, now what to wear. I have a very certain procedure and way that I like put together my outfits, and it's very much so off of feelings. I know that that sounds weird. Like today, I'm feeling more like jeans. We're gonna wear more jeans. I don't know what else to do. What to like wear with this. Maybe one of these? Actually, let's try this. I don't know what this would look like. My favorite color. I don't have one. I love any color that's like the pastel or like muted version. So like green, love green. But I love this color of green. Or this color of green. <laughs> I love pink. Oh wait, no. This color of green. Or, well that's not green. This color of green. But I also, oh wait. Or these colors of green. Oh, okay, good question. I love that question. I think that my must have item, first of all, is a candy or a treat. I have to always have a treat, but I have a really bad habit of eating like all the treats like that. I can't like just hold on to the treats. Also chapstick and this kind of chapstick specifically. Also been really obsessed with this lately. The Sol de Giordano is the greatest thing ever, but it's, it's, I don't know. I don't feel like it fits me super well, but it's it smells good. Um, my first like good perfume was Ariana Grande. Love that one. That one's back at home. And then when I was on my mission, I bought these two that I love so much. So this is the Ilia by Natura. And this one's the Humor one. 
I love perfume. If you have a favorite perfume, let me know, because I also want some new perfumes. Let's do some rapid fire questions before I have to go and start working. I have actually always loved filming videos. We started our channel, I'm pretty sure I was either 13 or 11, but I loved being on camera. You could probably actually go back to those videos and you can see just how active and excited and how much I interacted with the camera and I begged my mom. Ever since we started our channel, I begged my mom to have my own channel. And then that's when we started Right Clay and I really picked that up and we got going, me and Raquel, and then I started my channel. I'd say around 11 or 12, I just had a passion ever since then. And the passion's changed as it's become much more of a job. I've become older and it's really my way of, of making money. It's my way of speaking to you. It's like the Lego movie. You know when they have like, they can start to see all the pieces and how to construct it? That's what I feel when I make videos. It makes me so happy that you love this video. Yeah, so my whole family lived in Hawaii. My parents moved to Hawaii when I was two months old. So I'm the only one that was not born in Hawaii and I'm actually kind of sad about it. When other people are asking me like, oh my gosh, where are you from? Like your ethnicity or whatever. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm Hawaiian. They're like, oh my gosh, oh, so cool. Where were you born? Oh yeah, Utah. They're like, wait, what? Other fun facts. I've been learning French for years. No, I'm not fluent. I can probably say, je parle français. Oh, je vais bien. Oh, qu'est-ce que je peux aller aux toilettes, s'il vous plaît? I was gonna say por favor. Um, it's hard. When I learned Portuguese, now I want to speak. When I speak in French, I want to speak in Portuguese, but I don't actually know that much of French, so. And yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. YouTube has another great video for you to watch. Go and check it out. I want to hang out with you more. Let me know anything, anything that I can do better. Just talk to me. I'm here, and I really, really want to gain this connection with you. So, let's go hang out in this video. You're gonna love it. Bye.